few left. And they're covered in mud. Leaf, are you absolutely sure the gem is hidden here? Yeah. The belt isn't hot anymore, but it's still warm. It's got to be somewhere in or around the lake. There must be some way for us to get that gem without having to go in the water. I just don't know what it is. Hold on. I think Manus is saying we could go to Raladin and get what we need to drain the lake. But that'd take months. Besides, even if we had that stuff, Soldin would never let us do that. I'm gonna have to go into the water and get that gem. What if Manus and I could lure Soldin to one side of the lake? While I entered the water on the other side. It could work. You'd be easy prey. <sighs> never mind. Um, Manus, could you play your flute for us? Mm -hmm. Something that'll cheer us up. Mm. Ah. You're asking him to play his flute now? Ah. I have a feeling it'll clear our minds a bit. They all closed their eyes and listened. The music rose in lilting waves, filling the dead air with beauty. The flute spoke of crystal clear water trickling in the cool shade of a lush forest, of birds singing in leafy green treetops, of children playing and friends laughing, of flowers lifting their faces to the sun. Manus's melody did exactly what Leaf had asked for. Maybe the topaz can help. Hmm. The topaz is strongest during the time of a full moon. It's full now, but I don't feel its power. I wonder what they meant by strongest. Huh? Soldin. Don't stop. Keep playing. <laughs> Play it now! Why have you come to this forbidden place? <gasps> Do not stop! Do not stop unless I say so. Answer me. And do not try to lie, for I will know if you do. We came here because we're looking for a very important gem. We know it's somewhere in this lake, and we won't leave without it. A gem? It was dropped from the sky somewhere around this lake. It probably happened about 16 years ago. And we need to find it now, no matter what. I know about the gem. Do you know where it is? I have it. <gasps> it is my prize. The only thing in this bitter and lonely place that comforts me in my misery. Do you think that I would let you take it for nothing? So what do you want in return, Soldin? Name your price. If it's within our power, we'll get it for you. <laughs> Very well. I will give you the gem in return for a friend. Give the little man to me. I like his face and the music he makes. There's no way! He will come into the lake with me and sit upon the weeping stone. He will play to me through the endless days, the lonely nights. He will ease my pain for as long as he lives. Manus! No, wait, Manus! You can't! <laughs> Clearly the Rallid wishes to join me. Leave him. Let him come. You've got to be kidding! It's not like he wants to go! Let me have him, or else I'll destroy the rest of you and take him anyway! Go ahead and try, you overgrown catfish! <laughs> no! Leave! Listen up! We're not letting you have our friend. 
He's already lived five years as a slave, and he's finally free now. He's here because of us, so don't think that we're gonna give him up. You're never gonna have him, no matter what happens. From the full moon strengthens the topaz. I can see pictures of another time and place. That's... What have you done to me? What kind of spell have you put me under? It's not a spell. The topaz will show you only what's true. Soldine, I'm sure it's hard for you to believe, but what you just saw was real. Oh, I feel a great weight lifted from my heart. What is it? What is it that you want with me? We just want the gem. Please help us. Let Manus go and give us the gem, for the sake of what you once were, Soldine. For the sake of everything that you have loved and lost in the past. Hmm. As you wish. Gem? I don't remember any of the seven gems described in the belt of Del Tora as being pink. Leaf thought this was strange, but the belt around his waist was so warm that this clearly had to be one of the seven gems. But why was it this color? What's taking you so long? What's wrong? Nothing. Just a second. Look, it's Leaf! He's coming back! <gasps> got the gem in his hand. But something's not right. He doesn't look the least bit excited about it. Hmm. The emerald is green. The amethyst is purple. The lapis lazuli is deep blue with silver dots like stars. The opal is all colors of the rainbow. The diamond is clear as ice. And the ruby is red. The ruby. The words from the belt of Del Tora leapt into Leaf's mind. The great ruby, symbol of happiness, red as blood, grows pale in the presence of evil or when misfortune threatens. The ruby is just pale. Soldine, be careful! There must be something evil nearby! beautiful garden. I am the sorceress. little boy. It was by sheer chance that you managed to set my slave bird free. 
Did you really think it'd be that easy this time? But even worse is what you've done to my beautiful children, Jin and Jod. You have angered me, child. Raya, Raya, Sedonis, Kagan! <laughs> Let that be a lesson, Soldine. You will be my slave forever. Hey, Leaf! <coughs> I, I'm okay. <coughs> Hang in there. <coughs> Can you stand? Uh -huh. oh, you're all so pathetic. Now you are where you belong, at my feet, crawling in the mud. That's enough! <coughs> Get to her! Oh, is somebody getting a little stressed? Well, look at that. A tasty raven decided to join the fun. I'll be sure to keep you around for dinner. My friend's not on the menu! No, Jasmine! <laughs> one drop. Just one drop. They said the only way to defeat her is if she sheds a drop of blood. I gotta break through her shield! Take it! Hmm. A magic cloak. That's a fancy toy for such a little boy. Leave! Jasmine, I've got it. I figured out how to defeat Tagen. Every time she casts a spell, she has to drop her magic shield. That's our only chance to get at her. What do you say we put an end to this right now? Hmm? A little rallied man. What do you hope to achieve by playing that pathetic melody? First of all, I'm gonna get her attention, and then you throw your knife. Hey, stop it! I'll curse you to never play that flute ever again! Let's go! Tegan! An Ingu era remless. Tegan! Jasmine! No, leave! Oh, that's it. The fun and games are over. You will all turn into hideous creatures. Take your last breath of fresh air, cause after this, you'll wiggle and squirm in slime forever! Aiyaira Mire's XM. Tegan! of Dora have come back to life. I feel like I'm in some sort of dream. But it's real. Huh? If it's not, then it seems we're all dreaming the same dream. 
Manus, you can speak. Yes. With Tegan gone, all her spells have been undone. This is great. <sighs> the people of Raladin, the people of Dor, and everyone else around here thank you, especially for what that amazing bird of yours did. <laughs> My name is Nanyan, and this is my wife, Athena. We are the chiefs of the Dor tribe. Thanks to what you've done, we are now free from the curse of that sorceress. I believe you are looking for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We really are very grateful. For a hundred years, we have lived a life that was worse than death. Thanks to you, we are once again our true selves. Mm -hmm. Huh? The belt of Del Tora? But why is it here, so far from Del? No, it's best if you don't answer that. I know your intentions are good. But where are the seven gems? I only see one on the belt. Actually, thanks to you, we now have two. And so it was that Leaf was able to get the second gem, the ruby. That can only mean it really happened. We were hoping it wasn't true. Before she sent us into the darkness, Tegan told us one thing. The Shadow Lord has come, she said, and he rules all the lands. Del Tora is lost forever. No, don't say that. Nothing is lost forever. We must never lose hope. Just like Dor, the rest of the kingdom will be freed too. I think that you are absolutely right. As long as there are people with courage who do not give up hope, justice will prevail. Mm -hmm. huh? What's that? The bells of hope thanking us. Our brave adventurers said their farewells and returned to Raladin. There they were received as heroes. What's wrong? all got their voices back. There are no words for this amount of joy, so instead we express it through music. Our people are eternally grateful. It's for this reason we play our flutes. Everyone thanks you. We are forever in your debt. Thank you, Jasmine. You're all very welcome. Leaf, Marta, and Jasmine, thank you for everything. We will never forget you for as long as we live. Tegan is dead? Huh. I always knew she was pathetic. You are the pathetic one. Yes, of course, my lord. First the topaz was stolen from the Forest of Silence, and now the ruby from the Lake of Tears. And yet you still don't know who they are. Are there any who have disappeared from Dell recently? We are checking into that right now, my lord. You would be wise to. Yes, my lord. Rat, bring that ring to me. The sorceress can still be of use to us, so I shall give her a second chance. 